what I got. Today we're going to get this apple. I'm also going to do, I'm going to put the splash effect to it. Make it look like this. Alright guys, now what we're going to do, we're going to get a eyedropper. There it is there. And we're just going to sample the background behind the apple. Make sure that we've got it here on the bottom left. As you can see on the bottom left here, it's come out with different colours and everything else. I've already got the colour set anyway, so it's fine. All right, now we're going to get the, the colour thing there. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to make it so that the apple is to the right, and we need some more space over here. So what we're going to go, we're going to go up to Image, Canvas Size. Right, not the image size, just the canvas size. The width is five centimeters. We're going to change it to say eight centimeters. Okay, it's going to be like that. All right. Now, go to the actual layer itself. You want to duplicate that? Like you always do in all the Photoshop tutorials. Um, with the eye, as you can see here on the layers, just get rid of the background one. But just going to keep uh, another layer just to catch up the state later on. Okay, the background layer. Now, we want to get rid of all that, that greyish colour there, and there's different ways you can do it. What I'm going to do is just going to use the, what they call the magic wand tool. Okay, just going to use that. Click on that. Click on that area and let go, and it automatically comes up like that. Edit and cut it. Okay, so there we are. We've got it right back there. We've got a little tiny bit here. we do the same thing there. Edit, cut. So now we've got ourselves a quite clean background layer, and then we're going to flatten the layer. Okay. Yep, don't show it again. We don't want to know that. Okay, now we've got it like that. Now we're going to get the rectangular marquee tool. We're just going to draw around the apple. Then we're going to get the move tool. Just the move tool. And it's I'm not going to lose it if we put lock on the right hand side here. See on the layer, on the side here, it's got lock. That means you can't do anything with it, you can't move anything inside the actual layer. Now we can. Then we've got the move tool, and we can move it across. And we're gonna have to select the lasso tool and just click there, and then hit the layer again, and button. Okay, now we've got our apple to the right side. Now, we're going to go up here, we're going to get this splash ink effect, which is downloaded for free off the internet. Edit, copy, and we're going to paste it into our apple. Right, as you can see, it's quite big, so we're going to get the move tool, and go straight to the transformation. And we're just going to drag it so that it's close to the size that we want. Let's just zoom in so you can see it better. Now, it's not matching up completely right with the apple yet, but we will fix that later on. So I'm just going to get to the bottom part first and make sure that's right. Okay, now we're going to go up to Edit, Transform, Distort. So we're going to distort this so that it actually matches and fits the apple. You have to zoom out a bit here because we're going to go off the screen when we distort it. Now, Distort, go yeah, back to the transform and distort. Make sure we get that. So on the right hand side here, I'm just going to enlarge it so that it's up like that. And then we're going to go out to this side, of course, like that. And then come back down a bit so we've got those bits and pieces in there. Alright. Click our C tool. Like that. Right. Now it's not perfect, but it's close enough to what we want. Uh, this section here, we can make it so it goes back up to the apple. All we have to do, we just select it with the lesson two. Get it like that. Right. We have to edit. Transform. Warp. You want warp. There it is there. Warp. Okay. So it comes up with this little box. And what you can do, you can actually click on one side. And what it does, just clicking on this and it matches it just straight up like that. I pull that. Put the back to the same one. Put the back to the other. Okay. That's the tool. 
the glass that one's done. We go to the bottom one, we're going to do the same with the bottom one. I'm going to go nice and wide here. Give it a second. Go up to edit, transform, warp. I'm just going to bring this section here, bring it down to there. Put that back in there a bit. Just walk out of it. That's all we're doing. That's it all done. Right. Now, if you've got little imperfections like that little part just there, there's a little bit of white, you just use what they call a smudge tool. A smudge tool. Make sure that the paintbrush size for the smudge tool is down. I'm just going to move it along like that. And just hold down the spacebar key. And you can drag the whole entire image, all layers at one time. And there you go. Just do the same thing here. Just can smudge those together. Right, now we're going to zoom out. Right, now we've got the splash effect. Now, now what we're going to do, we're going to match the colours and we're going to actually get the apple so that it, it looks like it's part of that. So we're going to go back to the actual splash effect and we're going to change the colour. The adjustments, the vibrance, the hue saturations, all that type of stuff. Hue, we're going to change it. So we go to the left, it goes ooh, close to that colour already. That's pretty good. Lightness, we're going to take the lightness down. So we're getting close to the apple colour here. The tones. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to duplicate the background layer. Duplicate. Okay. We can drag and drop the duplicate layer. We're going to put it on top of the splash one. All right, we're just going to use the magic wand tool to get rid of the white background. Edit, cut, and we've got that, right? Now, if we want to see what we're actually doing, you can go up to the layers here on the right hand side, the opacity, and you can drag the opacity down, and look at that. You can see what's going on. See what we're doing here. So, what we're going to do. It's going to put it like that. I'm going to get the smudge tool again. And actually, even better, not the smudge tool, we're going to use uh, liquify. We have to layer, liquify. Comes up with this. Now, liquify, you've got all these different brush settings here up in the top right. On the top left, you're going to make sure that forward warp tool is selected, the top one. And what we're going to do, I'm just going to move it across. Now I need a bigger brush. So, too big. 400, 100. Right, let's make it 200, 270, something like that. Just going to warp it so that it actually looks like the apple is actually being warped. Not too much, just enough like that. That'll do us. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to use the eraser tool. Make sure we get a nice, decent size for the eraser tool. And I'm just going to go around the edges here so that it blends in a little bit more. You can see it's blending in there. So that looks more realistic. Okay. Now, we're getting, we're getting there somewhere. We're getting in closer. That's good. So it's starting to look good at this stage. Now, what we can do, we can go layer, flatten. Go. Now, to get all this clear, liquid to look like the actual apple. We go on the left hand side here and we've got a little tool called the patch tool. It's the same tool as the healing brush and all that type of thing. It's the patch tool. Right. We go over here and get some of the areas that we want to look a little bit more like the actual apple. Get that, select it, let go. Hold down the mouse key and click it and drag it across to an area that you want to sample. So I want to sample something like that. And look at I just click it again in the background. There we go. So it look, it's looking awesome at this stage. So this little section here, which is quite light. So I'm going to get that and I'll drag that across to a lighter section like that. Okay. And I'm just going to keep on going around the image doing that. So that, that little bits and pieces of white in there that look really good. Too much white, too much there. Go. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Today's we're going to do a different thing. Now, because we've got a two blends here, we've got the black, 
is quite dark going into the, into the light. We can do that as well because here is dark and light as well. So we can just drag across and give a sample of that. Now let's say it's too light, it's too bright, so we want darker. We want dark, 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 dark. Uh, that should do oh, a little bit too much. So what we can do, we go back to the patch tool and get the spot healing brush tool. And what that does, it samples, where if you click, the samples left and right. So if we just go like this and draw the edge, so it's done, it blends it in. So we're getting some of these, that's really good. So we zoom out, make sure that we get back to that. Alright, we're getting there slowly guys, we're getting there. And what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the lasso tool. We're going to sample a part of the apple. Uh, and basically what we're going to do, we're going to copy it and paste it there. Okay. So we're going to go up to edit, copy, edit, paste. Get the move tool. Move that across. Now that's not exactly covering the area, so what we're going to do, we're going to change it for transformation. Hold down the shift key and pull it to the right. There we go, pull it to the left, just so it actually goes in there, it matches. That's good enough. That's the last tool. Now, what we do, we go up to, we can make sure we've got the layer still selected. Right, now we're going up to the blend tools here. Take it from normal, take it down to soft light because it's a light area. Okay. And we've got part of the app in there. Now, as you can see, when we did it, we went over the edge here a bit too much. So we're going to get the razor tool. So I'm just going to go over this area, make sure it's gone. Right. We'll just go to layer, flatten. That's the tool again. And we're going to do this little section here, and then we'll do that section. Okay, so we just want that little part there. And copy that, edit, copy, get it, paste. And put that in there. I don't have to do too much about changing the size. Again, we're going to go to soft light. So we go to hard light. Uh, you can, what can you use hard light in this one? Why not? And then go to the razor tool and just get the little edge there, get rid of that, and just blend that in a bit more. It looks good. Yeah. I don't even think we have to do that bottom one. I think it's looking. Well, oh, well, we'll, do, we'll do it anyway. Why not? Get another section, copy it, copy, paste, move tool, just put down like that. Now, if it's not actually going according to plan, like you know, the geographics of this, on the right hand, on the left hand side, or the right hand side, you've got a little arrow that comes up on the transformation. You just move that like that, and you can move it back into place. Make sure you've got it selected up here on the top right, on the layers. Go up to normal, and we get in the hard light. Soft light, we just play around with it a bit. Let's see if we can do something different. How about we go to multiply? That's pretty dark. Color burn, line of burn, dark. Let's go to darken. Uh, let's make it multiply. Let's we'll just go back to the soft light like there is to it. That way, all the light part doesn't show up. Yeah. What we can do with this one, we can get image, adjustments, brightness, and contrast. Now we're going to make it darker so that it blends in more. Contrast, put the contrast back up. Hit OK. Raise it all. Nice and bright. And just go around the edges so it blends in. You can use the smudge tool, smudge it into a bit more of a blend. Don't have to. It's up to you. But basically, there we have it, guys. So we're going to flatten the line. And there's the apple with the splash effect. Thanks for watching.